down the center line. Roger, Apollo 8. Our velocity now is uh, about 32,000 feet per second. 32,000 feet per second. It's getting very close to the 25,000 miles an hour they need. They won't quite achieve. Velocity is now 33,000 feet per second. And from Hawaii, we are getting a visual report. The people in Hawaii are observing the burn from on the ground. Houston, you're looking good, right down the old center line. Roger, Paul. We're about um, 40 seconds away from cutoff here, and the spacecraft moving at uh, nearly 35,000 feet per second. Cut off in 30 seconds. Present altitude 35,000 miles. We've got Seco. Cutoff was right on the second. Oh, well, everything perfect. And now the Apollo spacecraft is committed to its flight to the moon. In another 13 minutes, it will cut loose that third stage engine and will be alone out there in space. available to get these men back if they go into lunar orbit. They still have the choice of a free return trajectory, so-called, on, on their way around the moon and back to Earth. If they choose for the lunar orbit on uh, the day before Christmas morning, they will be committed, and that engine will have to fire to bring them back. What an exciting moment, and how calmly everyone seems to have taken it. Have we indeed become blasé? That man, after all of at, these uh, years, two hours and fifty-seven set off for the moon. Here, just, uh, all the and we haven't heard any cheers. Compared, they all. We'd hope. We heard uh, Chris Kraft, the director of flight operations, say, "You're on your way. You're really on your way now." We don't have an exact cutoff feet, uh, cutoff figure yet in feet per second, but we should be getting it very soon from the flight dynamics officer. Everything is looking real good down here. California inhibit VHF downlink. Inhibited. Very good down here. We got a whole room full of people that say you look good. Roger, thank you. Uh, the only uh, situation we have here is the, uh, the O2 is the pegged high. O2 flow pegged high. Roger, understand O2 flow high. We'll get you the first status report here shortly. Roger. Yes. Okay, he has a sign. Telephone says we may see a picture. So if he sees it, he knows what it is.
live Apollo in Houston. Houston. Your booster is uh, configured normally, and we're not concerned about the O2 high flow. We think it's normal. Okay. These are the men who are controlling, monitoring this mission. Everything from the heartbeat of the astronauts to the firing of these great uh, reaction engines, these jets, these rockets. This is the first time that we have been permitted a live picture from mission control, even as a mission was underway. Uh, Houston, Apollo 8. Go ahead, Apollo 8. Uh, Roger, the uh, Delta TIG looked like it was right on. Burn time appeared to be about two seconds longer. 517. BGX was reading 95485, and we got it. The attitude was nominal. B.I. was reading 35452 and cut off. H dot 04552 and H is 01791. Delta V.C. on the EMS is minus 20.6. All right, we copy that, Jim, and I've got some time here for you. Roger, go ahead. Booster uh, begins maneuver to step attitude at 3.10.55. Takes five minutes, so it arrives at 3.15.55. And step time, 3.20.55. Your step attitude, uh, the gimbal line. This is Apollo Control. We, uh, we're getting a... a post-TLI report from the crew. I apologize. I've quoted some erroneous figures during the course of the burn. Our present altitude is about 240 miles, and uh, very shortly we'll get a more precise fix on that. I believe in the course of the burn I quoted some figures in uh, thousands of miles, which should have been in thousands of feet. I apologize. Our new displays are getting a good workout, and some of the people reading those new displays are getting a very good workout. On this uh, model we're showing you of the flight of the Apollo 8, it would appear from this particular angle uh, that the Apollo 8 uh, is in still in orbit around the Earth. Uh, actually, we're looking at it in such an angle that we do not see the, its, its departure from orbit, uh, which will be more apparent uh, as this display uh, continues to show the path toward the moon. already now has shattered the all uh, space records for altitude for manned flight. The most spectacular first of all, man's first trip to the moon. We're watching the it's a good solid trace coming to us through Goldstone. We're up to 879 miles. Uh, our present uh, ground elapsed time into the flight is three hours, three minutes. At the same time, we're already beginning to see the velocity uh, begin to recede slightly. It's down to 32,418 feet per second. And we'll con continue to see that slight uh, lowering in the velocity reading and a constant elevation of the apogee. Now 934, 961, 
and every uh, every 10 seconds it seems to be adding about 30 to 40 miles. The spacecraft uh, right now in relation to the Earth is uh, just south of the Goldstone Station which has it in solid lock. Satellite now. Mm -hmm. 